Hey guys, welcome back to a vlog. I don't even know why I said welcome back. I feel like I never vlog anymore. Um, I just got home. I worked tonight. I only did uh, I only did three deliveries today, but yesterday or, or yesterday, earlier today after BSF, I did a, a few. So I ended up making 50 bucks today, but I don't mind. Something is better than nothing. So, um, yeah, I just got home. I've been meaning to vlog all day. All day I've been carrying this camera around like I'm going to vlog. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to, there's a bee. I'm going to vlog, but I'm finally vlogging. Y'all, look at my front yard. I need to get this under control. But, um, yeah. I'm about to go to the backyard and water my garden. I did get my garden started, but um, like the entire backyard needs to get, uh, I need to get it together too, but we're just saving up money so we can just pay somebody to do it because the landscaping is so much work and my husband's always at work. Brian, if you're not new here, his, you know his name is Brian. If you are new here, my husband's name is Brian. Um, so yeah, um, he's always at work. So it gets hard to, you know, like do the outdoor projects because it's a lot for just me. And I'm not going to tell him when he gets home, like, I know you just got off of a freaking 12 hour shift, but um, come tend to the yard with me. Like yard work is hard and it's all outside. Also, I had a vlog that I was gonna try to edit, and then as I was editing it, like all the clips were messed up, all of them were mumbled and jumbled, and I deleted a lot. And like, so there was clips missing, and I was like, we're just gonna scratch this, and I'm gonna start vlogging fresh. So I'm gonna turn on this food in the oven until Brian gets home. Well, I've already made it a little crispy. That's all right. We're gonna um, just let it warm up. He should be home in a minute. But yeah, I don't think I don't think YouTube has seen my uh, garden. TikTok has seen my garden, but not YouTube. So let's go ahead and go to the garden, y'all. I cut my foot the other day, and I feel like it hurts more now that it's healing than when it did when i cut it <sighs> okay so if you want to see the backyard like it is a mess it is a mess my kids got their toys everywhere i don't know like if they have like a driveway that came this far back before but there's cement there's tree stumps like this is a tree stump you can see it up close and yeah, but here's my little garden, y'all. We have some, like, this was supposed to be all onion, but my kids got a hold of the radish seed packet and threw it all in here. But I'm pretty sure that this is an onion coming up. And then the rest is radish, but I got spinach over there. Um, that's okra. I think this is a weed that I need to pull out, this one here, but that's radish okra okra my bell pepper plants i'm pretty sure that those are just dead at these point this point and then over here we have carrots we have the carrots um they're really tiny so you can see the carrots coming up there there and there the, all eight of those are carrots um looks like my kids chunk some radish seeds in there too Oh my gosh, we're gonna have like nothing but radishes. Um, I can't remember what we planted in this one. I'm really hoping it's our cilantro, but we have that. This one was our chives. The boys knocked it over and I kind of tried to revive it. So I'm hoping they all start standing back up again. Like this was a chive, but it got knocked over. So they died. Um, these eight are gonna be green onions. All of this is radish, all of it. And I swear I thinned these, but it looks like they're coming back up again and I can't wait to harvest them. I'm so excited. And like I said, all of this is spinach. 
And then you come to this side. Um, I pulled weeds today, so there's that. There's nothing really in these eight. This was supposed to be basil. There's there's nothing coming up. Um, we have some zucchinis, um, bell peppers again. Those plants just look so sad. Like I don't know what I did wrong because those were transplanted. I didn't plant the seeds. They were like plants that you already buy at Walmart and then plant, and those are just doing horribly. But over here, I feel like I have tons of parsley starting to come up. That's a little radish. But, um, yeah, I think I have some parsley starting to finally sprout, which I thought wasn't going to happen. So maybe there's that. Um, we have this. I'm not sure if this is oregano. And I, for the life of me, I can't remember what else we planted. Look, here's a seed pack. Maybe it's, hopefully it's one of these. Nope, it's the oregano like i like like i thought so it's either the oregano what else did i plant i planted chives cilantro oregano for the life of me i cannot remember what the fourth thing was but it was another herb chive oregano what the heck was it chive oregano cilantro what is another rosemary geez rosemary so i don't know if that one's maybe the oregano coming up that one might be the oregano that's the chives i think this one's rosemary oh so maybe this one's cilantro i have forgot that quick what i was saying but then here in these eight so those eight are the parsley these eight here are to be romaine lettuce and we can see like it's already coming up like different colors and everyone just about so excited another freaking radish <laughs> and then we have summer squash here and then like i said i was pulling weeds today so i'm not even sure at this point if these are radish or if these are going to turn into my cabbage because the boys decided to get all the radish seeds outside of the seeds I already planted and just throw them into both garden beds. So that's why there's radish everywhere. But yeah, now I'm about to, I'm about to water. So yeah. Oh yeah, we bought the boys a trampoline. Don't know if I shared that on here. I try to figure out who I am. Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can Make it go away All you have to do Is look at me Sometimes I I can't breathe But it feels like You're the one who saves me When I try This is my favorite part about our house Is that We're right off the highway I don't know, something about the sound of traffic is just so soothing to me. And then I'll come out here during the day or around this time until so Brian gets home. And I will just sit out here in the garden. It's really become my place of peace. I come out first thing in the morning while I'm listening to the Bible app read to me. And then I'll come here at night and I just think and think and think and think. And, um, not even really think, more like pray. Um, I'll sing to God a lot. Yeah, I'll sing to God a lot. Um, I will be out here singing at the tip top of my lungs. And um, I don't know, it's just really become my place of peace and where I come to get closer to God when I'm having a hard time. But yeah, and then I'll just check on things and like pull weeds out came out here to pull weeds this morning but for some reason 
after I water. It's like the weeds like to play peekaboo. Like, how did I not catch this earlier when I was pulling weeds? Yep. And you always gotta make sure you get the weeds by the root. Cause if not, they'll just grow back. <sighs> and I've gotten really used to dirty hands. I hate dirty hands, but I've gotten really used to them. So yeah, there's something about whenever the garden's just been water that's just like, I feel like it makes everything super green. Whenever, oh, this one didn't get much water. So I'm gonna take this one and water it. You know what, I'll know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I know what I will do. But yeah, I'll sit out here in the garden and I'll journal, or like I said, I'll come out here and sing worship music, listen to the Bible, just tend to the garden, water it. It's all a blessing. All of it is a blessing. hand off first but um yeah so I have this watering jug and I'll just I'll just fill this up Sit out here for a little bit maybe just for like a little set up that's where i sit i want i really want to do it up cute like i want to buy like a little table with matching little chairs and like set it up right here because here's where we have shade all day because of this tree which i believe is a pecan tree but we haven't gotten any yet not any pecans but yeah i think that's a pecan tree yeah, I want to like, I don't know. We definitely want to get like three more beds, three, four more beds. Brian says five, but I think we only need about two, three more. I do want chickens eventually. Um, chickens for eggs, not really chickens for meat. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this little setup here. So like, we'll get a fence and build it from that end to this end and then like just because we want to get a dog as well we also want to get a dog eventually and i want to have the garden fenced off so that way the dog doesn't mess with the garden but we have so many plans for like the outside of the house because we feel like the inside of the house is pretty good because we swapped out the sink the shower head in the master bath we added a vent hood and um we want to replace the handle to the shower and the master bath which i just haven't bought because home stuff is expensive like expensive but yeah i just i don't know i want two more beds for sure for sure for sure i want two more garden beds because like i also just kind of want this little centerpiece here to kind of be like I don't know, just kind of like a little oasis. So I would put like one garden bed up against the fence there, add another one up against the fence there, and then probably leave this um, back section here where I'm sitting at for the chickens. And then, you know, like if I leave that little center part open, that's like where my little table and chairs could be. I don't know. And then like, we still want to paint the house. Obviously, like I said, get landscaping done. We either need a carport or a garage. We need a shed. Cause we do have like stuff to cut the grass and stuff, but we don't have anywhere to store it. And if we leave it outside, it could get ruined. So yeah, it's weird. It's weird, fuck like it. it. Sounds like a car right outside of our fence. But yeah, if you guys have any tips for like organic pesticides, like let me know. I tried, um, oil baking soda and water i don't think that's working like i don't see bugs on them anymore but my plants definitely don't look healthy either if that makes sense so i don't know 
me. I'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit and then go in and have dinner. I love whenever the boys come out here and they'll be jumping while I'm just here journaling or whatever. And I don't know, I feel so blessed, so blessed. Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all go because I feel like I've just been rambling. <laughs> you guys this is dinner my brother-in-law made it and uh they made too much last night so my sister was like do you want to come get it for dinner and i was like yes yes because i do not feel like cooking and i already knew i wanted to work tonight but what we're gonna do because i'm still home alone and i believe brian has the boys at the park is we gonna light this little candle well i'm gonna so i don't know what i want to do do I want to soak in the tub or do I want to take an extra long shower? I think I'm going to soak in the tub with a glass of wine. So we're going to take this candle. This is like the only candle in my house. I got it as a free gift from Ulta. My kids never flush their toilet. Wow, and I just realized y'all cannot see me anything but my silhouette. <laughs> so this is the candle I got for the free gift from Ulta, it's a nest candle and grapefruit. It smells so good. I barely burned any of it this morning and I had the entire house smelling like it. So we're gonna light that candle. Do, 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 do. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you should because I'm live like all the time doing Bible studies. And then we're gonna come and get I don't even think I'm gonna do all the fancy stuff tonight. I think I'm just gonna get a bath bomb. Oh, I need my towel and some bed clothes. Okay, got the bed clothes, the towel. And then I think the boys have a bubble bath in here. Let me go ahead and get this all going. I'm trying my best to hold on. It's not easy, but I'm feeling stronger with you. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would. And now while that fills up, we go back to my bathroom to take off my makeup, put on my, put on my hair, put up my hair, and to grab a face mask. All right. Okay. I feel like this is the most unattractive angle you guys always get of me. I straightened my hair this week because I just was not feeling it. Like when I wear my hair curly, it takes me a good 10 minutes to do my hair. I have to re-wet it, reapply um, product. Then I have to let it fully dry before I style it or it looks weird. So it's like a long process and I just wasn't having it this week. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna straighten it. Cause even if I have to re-straighten it in the morning, it only takes like five minutes. Okay, hold on. So I put my spa headband on and took off my regular clothes. You guys, you guys have to try this um, makeup remover. So good, so good. I've been doing my makeup every day, just about every day. Sometimes I'll skip a day. Last week I was obsessed with lashes the last couple of weeks actually. So this week I told myself I'm gonna let the lashes breathe a little bit. I've got this makeup eraser towel. Actually this one's by PND. It's like a makeup remover towel, thoroughly. So I guess I kind of triple clean. I use a face oil and then I use this towel and then I go in with my soap, face wash soap. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know. So I decided to try this one out from Target, mostly because it was affordable already, but then there was also a coupon. And I like it. Oh, it has a little bit of a scent, barely. And like the tiniest bit goes a long way, watch. Okay, 
Y'all see how tiny that dot is? It is going to suds up. And I'll be sure to link all this stuff too, in case y'all wanna buy it. But it's so good, like look at that. And my skin has been so clear with it too. I've been glowy. People are always complimenting how glowy my skin is. It's cause I use a, like, I use a, the vitamin C face wash. I usually only use it up in the morning and then I use charcoal at night. And then, but um, I'll use a vitamin C serum before bed so that way my skin's not super sensitive to the sun throughout the day. But y'all see how sudsy that gets off that little dot? Um, I'm just gonna grab one. Real peach essence mask. Does this list the benefits of it? I don't know. I'll look up the skin benefits of peach ex extract while I'm in the tub, and then I'll let y'all know. Okay, that tub's gonna be way too hot. Ooh, that candle is in here smelling lovely. Last but not least, and we have this bucket list Moscato, which is my favorite. I'm a slow wine drinker, so this little cup is really good. Let's see. It's good. Got a little kick there at the end, but it's good. Okay. And now it's time for the bath bomb. That's a huge bath bomb. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys once I'm done relaxing. Good morning, guys. So um, next day, I just fixed the bed. I actually woke up really late, and I'll show you guys what I mean later, but... Right now, I've done all like my morning skincare, fixing my bed. So now I just gotta do my one big chore for the day, which is vacuuming. And I'm probably gonna clean those windows to the front door. And then obviously like my little chores from not cleaning up last night, I need to fix the chairs. And yeah, so that's all I gotta do. Oh, and I need to go water the garden. So I'm gonna try to hurry up in here so that way I can be done in here before 10, so that way I can water the garden before 10, because anytime after 10, you, you fry your plants. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm just gonna clean up in here really fast. And before you, there was no one who understood. Sometimes I But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I forgot to vlog today but then I kept telling myself like don't forget don't forget and um I just finished working out I have like 10 minutes to do my hair makeup and get dressed I'll be graceful with myself and give myself 15 minutes but um yeah I don't have time 
Um, I don't want to be at the meetup with my ladies from the BSF group no later than 11.30. We'll just put some nice cinnamite on my face really fast. Because um, I don't like to do my skincare until I'm done working out. I don't know because I just feel like my face is dirty once I'm done sweating. Yeah, yesterday was not a good day. I did not have a good day yesterday. So that's why I didn't end up vlogging more yesterday. It just, just wasn't a good day. We had problems with homeschool, with the way I was feeling mentally, feeling lonely again. I'm in that season where I keep feeling lonely. And I feel like I go through it every once in a while, every few months, I'm just in a season of like feeling lonely. I don't know, I think, I feel like people make it to where like stay at home moms aren't allowed to get lonely because that's the life that we chose. We chose to be home with the kids. We chose not to have any adult human interaction. I'm just like, no, that's not what we signed up for. We chose to stay home so that way it was more financially beneficial because nine times out of 10, if a woman goes to work, her income is just gonna go to childcare anyway. And also I don't trust childcare. I don't trust the public school system to, te to keep their opinions to themselves and not incorporate it in the curriculum, like just teach my children the basics. Like there's no reason they need to learn about sex, there's no reason they need to learn about race, like critical race theory, like there's just no reason for any of that. I mean, and if you want to teach your children that, like fine, do it on your own time, but allow the parents to choose that. And that's where America is at, is taking like all rights away from the parent. America is trying to parent our children for us and a lot of parents are allowing them to. And it's, it's a lot of the younger generations, like people who are from my generation and younger who have children. Just why have kids? Why have kids if you're not willing to put in the work to instill values, morals, and culture into your children and you wanna let the school system and the government do it, then why have kids? And, I, and I'm not saying that to be mean. Like, I'm I'm truly not. I just don't get it. I tell Brian that all the time. Like, I don't understand why people who don't have any value, morals, or culture have children. Because what are you instilling in them? What is the reason for them being here? Like, is it just because you were lonely? Or, like, what is the case? Because, like, as Christians, we understand what the reason is for children to be for into what the reason is for being fruitful and multiplying and I feel like if we could just as a whole everybody just get that together like we wouldn't be in a lot of the predicaments and controversial situations that we are in because people just people are evil this world is wicked this world has really really fallen I feel like it's fallen even further than whenever Adam and Eve people don't even realize it but like we've been in the end times for a long time it's just now the days are getting as bad as Noah just as the Bible predicted men emasculating themselves and women wanting to be men the deceitfulness like just so many things the killing of babies and people don't even realize like a lot of that is actually used as a sacrifice like and the bible says woe to those who call good evil and evil good um, and i feel like i went on a ramp but back to why yesterday was a bad day i just the kids were not cooperating. I don't know. I feel like it's been a lot harder to get them under control here recently than it ever has been. And like, I'm just like, why? Like, like what, like what changed for them as to why, like, I can't, like, like they're just, and I'm not saying like, I can't control my kids. I'm just saying like, they're in a place where like, I constantly have to have my eye on them or they're doing something they ain't got no business doing. And it was never like that before. And so I'm just like, what is really going on? I'm missing a sponge. I, there it is. But it's super dirty. I'll use this one. So I'm just like, what is really going on with my kids? Like, what is this? And it's like, I, I have never, even since I've been homeschooling, have had to call Brian while he's been at work as much as I've had since the beginning of April. Like, I don't know what the heck, what switch flipped in them in April, but it was just like, I don't know. I just do not know and so like I'm trying to get a better schedule for not only myself but for them because I feel like if I could get a routine down they'll understand the routine and like I think it would be best good for all of us but I just want them to get out of that habit of like if I'm not watching them they can be buck wild because I feel like that's where they're at right now it's like if mom's not looking 
let's act buck wild and it's just like no no like if mom let's not looking like let's do what we need to do and like my kids have such sweet intentions they're like oh mommy i can't wait to give you flowers and i'm just like you know what mommy wants from y'all is to listen like i love and i've told ethan this like i love that you want to give mommy flowers but the greatest gift you can give to me is like being obedient doing what you know you're supposed to do and i get that ethan's only six he's about to be seven but it's like nobody knows your kids the way you know your kids and ethan is very mature for his age very mature and like brian and i are in a place of like keep trying to teach ethan like hey like you lead your brothers you may not think it but you are the oldest and they're gonna do whatever they see you do and so like if and i keep trying to tell Ethan, like if you would just listen like your brothers would fall in line like maybe whenever he's older he will understand that but i'm just like when and i tell brian like it's so hard because i don't see the fruits of my labor for years as a mother a stay at home mom like it's easy for men to remain encouraged because like they go to work they get a paycheck stay at home moms don't get that and even then every day for years and years and years like we don't see the fruits of our labor like i'm barely seeing the fruits of my labor of teaching ethan to clean up after himself and i've been teaching him that since he was one of like teaching the boys the importance of cleanliness or seeing the need that needs to be met like i'm barely reaping that with ethan and it's just it's hard like it's hard to remain encouraged to do this not that i don't love my kids and i don't love that i'm able to stay home it's just just to remain motivated i guess is the is the phrase that i could say is like remaining motivated is the hardest part and i don't think i'm wrong for saying that i really don't i tell brian that all the time and then it's like it gets lonely and then it's like sometimes you don't want to go to your husband because you feel like as the main breadwinner of the house and the things that they have to deal with at work it's like you don't want to add to their plate because like you get that they're tired because usually Brian's working a 12 plus hour day and so it's just like I don't like he ain't got time for my problems and like he's never said that but like that's what my mind tells me like he does not have time for your problems which is not true that's not true and he tells me all the time like just talk to me and it's like I want to but the way my brain works is like I don't want to and it's like the hardest thing to explain to him and he's so willing to understand, but like he, he tries, he tries really hard to understand, but like he just don't. I'm just like, it's cause you're not a woman. Cause I feel like other women would understand that. And I, I was just talking to Brian this morning. I'm like, I don't even want to be called a woman in this day and age. Like call me a lady because the way these women act is not the way I act. Like I do not stand by a lot of women. And I hate to be thrown into that category. Now, I don't agree with the left of like, oh, birthing persons, child bearer. I don't agree with that either because God did give me a name and it was woman. But the, the way the world has, the way the women act today, I don't want to be associated with 90% of them. That's just truth. Like, I mean, need to make a TikTok about it. Like, the way the women act today, I don't want to be associated with y'all. I really don't. Put me in my own category of a lady because I feel like that ain't ever. I'm a lady because you got men calling themselves women. I'm just like, it's not the same. It's just not the same. It is not the same. You will never understand me or my body, no matter what you do to your body. You will never understand. Cancel for saying that. <laughs> I don't care really. Cause you know, what, you know what you can't cancel about me? Jesus. Nope, you can't cancel Jesus. Remember, they tried to. They tried to cancel him on the cross, and he was like, hey, psych, joke's on you. Jesus is really a thug. I don't, I don't even like to say the word thug, but he was a G. Jesus did not care about this world. Not not like that, but like he did not care about these world's opinions, I should say. Gotta be careful with my words. People be trying to throw them back at me all the time. It's the hardest thing about being on social media, and I'm like, you have to prepare yourself for that. And like, Ryan has told me since, I'm so, since I started, he was like, I support you. I support you in all that you do. I need you to always understand and be in the headspace of there are going to be those that attack you. And I think him telling me that constantly since I was a teeny tiny channel, teeny tiny influence, like I feel like ever since he's told me that, like it's been easier to to take the punches as they roll in. But then like I do it and like there's actually a lot of people who are like, no, like I'm so happy you said this and I'm like, so I'm not alone. You just have to be willing to put the truth out there because you'll find there's more people that agree with the truth than not. Okay, I got three minutes. 
this world, these women, I'm just like, I'm not, we are not the same. We are not the same. This bio six, this bio six, this bio silk smell reminds me so much of my childhood. My mom used to always use it in her hair when we were young and she would straighten it. Mom rarely straightened her hair as kids. She always kept her hair snatched though. When I mean snatch, my eyes ain't this shape for no reason because we used to go to school like, and I used to always be like, teacher, can you, can you help me with my hair? <laughs> and my mom would be so mad when I got home. You told your teacher to loosen your troubles again, didn't you? Yes, it hurt. My head was in pain, mama. Holy, my mom used to get so frustrated. So frustrated. Gotta work tonight. I gotta go to this last hurrah with my BS BSF group. Meet up with Brian for lunch at one. It's 11.20, the luncheon started at 11. I think they kind of expect me to be late. But I'm not eating with them anyways. I'm just gonna go chat and then meet up with Brian for lunch at one. So there's that. I feel like my life just fell apart like these last few months, like my organization, my timeliness, like oh, these last few months just, it's been a struggle y'all. It's been a whole little struggle. I don't know what I'm wearing today. I feel like the second I expose my face, like pull hair out of my face, I feel so much prettier. Now it's time to get dressed. All right, you guys, we have made it to all of our festivities. I made it to my little luncheon with some some godly women. And then I left there, met up with Brian. And now I decided to bring the boys up to the library. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. We just had a talk. We just had to talk about how the library is quiet. So I'm gonna get them in here and get them settled and then I'll start vlogging again. This way, let's go with the kids. Hey guys, stay down here. Stay down here. Those aren't toys to play with. Mm -hmm. They are loving it. They are loving it here. So I'm going to read some books to them. All right, you guys. So the library was a success. So um, how did y'all like the library? You can you don't have your seatbelt on. So yeah, the library was a success. Um, we got frogs. Uh, me and Ethan's curriculum has been going over frogs. So just got like some fun books and then like obviously like one actual like frogs because his next science project, he has to write sentences over the importance of the frog's body parts. So yeah, went ahead and picked up some books over frogs instead of having to just buying books based on it. So yeah, got a library card today and all of that. So. We are going to head home now and rest. I'm going to edit while they take a nap. I might actually take them somewhere else for about 15 minutes and then go home at three. And then um, I'll edit until 6 p.m. when I start working with about 5.30 so I can cook dinner and they can eat. So yeah, that's the plan. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of this done, you guys. We've had so much fun today. Today has been a good day. All right, you guys, I brought the boys to the park. Come on. They had no idea. 
they had no idea and they're so excited it's literally around the corner from our house so we're going to stay here for about 15 20 minutes and then head home they'll lay down for a nap while i edit and then um yeah that's pretty much the plan and then i'll cook dinner at about 5 15 and then we'll head out to do uber eats i'm trying to feed them before we get in the car because they have been destroying my car with snacks so hopefully if i feed them before we start working they won't be like i need a snack i need a snack and then destroy my car so yeah Ooh, bless you his alley Ooh, that's nasty that's all right go play the plan so now i'm about to just chill and hang out with them take my shoes off <sighs> yeah about to just hang out we saw the wreck here all right you guys we i it's midnight got home from working just finished cleaning up the house my boo helped me but yeah, i'm about to get showered get dressed for bed we got some dinner in the air fryer <sighs> long night um but i made about 20 bucks an hour which isn't bad so yeah i'm about to get in the shower and then we're gonna eat them taquitos and then we're calling it a night because brian has to be at work at six in the morning so see y'all tomorrow you had me at a Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday I